Superintendent Mayor Kilke, Officer in Charge of Traffic uh, Services Branch with SAFO. Uh, long weekends traditionally see an increase in traffic across South Australian roads as people make the most of the long weekend and, and travel with their family and friends. As a result of that, South Australian Police will be out in force this weekend across the state, uh, targeting and detecting uh, drivers committing offences and those incidents that contribute to road trauma in South Australia. And those incidents are those fatal five contributing factors uh, that are the main factors that, that cause road trauma and are the main things that police will be looking for this long weekend. So if you're committing offences on the road, uh, expect that you could uh, be pulled over by the police and be spoken to about uh, your behaviour. Um, and that may mean that you receive a fine and may mean that you're educated about your behaviour. Some of those behaviours are, and some of those things that contribute to uh, road trauma in South Australia are speeding, not wearing your seatbelt, drinking drug driving, being distracted while, while you're driving, and just general road use, dangerous road user behaviour. So to keep yourself and other road users safe, uh, your family, your friends safe. Don't engage in those behaviours. Don't speak. Wear your seatbelt. Don't be distracted. Don't engage in dangerous road use behaviour. And there's a very good chance that you'll arrive safely at your destination and you'll have a fantastic long weekend. We're really encouraged and we're really pleased uh, from a policing perspective that this year we've uh, got off to a, a, a good start in terms of the number of lives lost and serious injuries on our road. It's clear that no lives lost on our roads are acceptable. But the start that we've made to this year, we encourage everybody to keep that going. We encourage everybody to continue to use the road responsibly and make good decisions. And that's the best way that we can uh, keep this, this number down and it's the best way we can stop uh, the trauma that road, uh, road deaths cause and that ripples through, through all the communities of South Australia. So from South Australia Police, thank you to South Australian motorists who have got us off to a, a great start this year, but let's not become complacent. Uh, let's keep it going and let's keep that number down because it, it, we don't want a number like last year, which is tragic for a whole range of reasons. So um, please, from us, have a safe long weekend, uh, keep using the road responsibly, um, and let's uh, keep the lives lost and number of serious injuries as long as we can for 2024. This long weekend also um, signals the end of the holiday period. Uh, the holiday period means that the kids are going back to school on Monday, uh, and on Monday, uh, along with Operation Safe Long Weekend, which is what we're doing over the weekend, we'll also have Operation uh, Return Safe to School. It starts on Monday. Uh, you will see a police presence around the state schools, um, ensuring that uh, pedestrians and children are able to get to school safely. We know that uh, some of the kids uh, who are going to school on Monday are going for the first time, they're young, uh, they may not um, have had much experience around schools and, and vehicles that, that use the school area. They're smaller, uh, which means that sometimes drivers can't see them or they're not aware of uh, the actions and the unpredictability of kids. So we'll be out there just making sure that uh, all these kids and the pedestrians who are returning to school on Monday can, can do so safely. So we ask that anybody who is taking their, their kids and their children to school, either for the first time on Monday or for a number of years now, that they continue to make vigilant around schools so that everybody who's going to school on, on Monday can do, do it safely. Australia Day long weekend, there's obviously a lot of alcohol involved. So, what's your message to South Australians who might be tempted to get behind the wheel after drinking a bit too much? Yeah, that's one of the fatal five factors um, that contribute to road trauma. And we know that last year, uh, drink and drug driving, you know, contributed to around about a third of the fatalities that, that we had on our roads. So, drink and drug driving is a strong focus of ours. And during Operation Long Weekend, that would be a really important part. Of the, lo of the long weekend operation. Uh, we do have another operation called uh, Stop Drink Drug Drive and that will be embedded within the Operation Safe Long Weekend. So you can expect to see police out targeting drink and drug drivers. If 
he made that decision, it's not a great decision. Uh, we know that it contributes to fatalities um, and we'll be doing all we can to stop that. Um, given there are three operations this long weekend, can we expect to see more police on the road than usual? You'll see uh, the normal amount of police out. Uh, you'll see uh, police everywhere this long weekend. Um, the, the police will be focused um, on the, the defending and the fatal five um, contributing factors to road trauma. Now we do that anyway. Um, you always see police out doing it. This is a strong focus this weekend and all on weekends because we know there's in, an increase in traffic. So we will put police out on all our main arterial roads and other roads within the state this weekend. And you mentioned that um, obviously last year we had the horror road toll. Do you think South Australians are sort of finally heeding the message about road safety? Oh, I hope so. Uh, it, it seems like it um, so far this year. Um, there, there were some incidents that um, within the lives lost last year that really hit home hard. Um, to the police family for one, but for all of other, other families as well. And what that showed, if, if it didn't before, is that this can happen to anyone. And, and road trauma is real, and, and road trauma um, has a strong effect um, across different communities. If that's been the wake-up call, I, I don't know that it has, but it, it may have been. If that's been the wake-up call, um, then the numbers that we're seeing this year are positive. Um, all I can encourage is all road users to not get complacent, is to, to keep heeding the messages, to keep understanding that the decisions they make um, and the responsibility that they take on when they get behind the wheel of a car or on the back of a motorbike or, or riding a motorbike, um, they can control uh, what happens. They can control uh, getting home safely. We've got lots of South Australian motorists who do the right thing on our roads. We've got good drivers on our roads, but good drivers can make mistakes too. So everybody just needs to uh, remain vigilant um, and hopefully uh, we can keep uh, the, re the reduction in number that we've seen so far this year um, keep it going throughout the year.